Hi everyone, welcome back, and it's Jackson. And today we are unboxing a brand new Yarbo docking station 2024 version. So let's get started. The setup's actually easier than with the previous version, which is a great news. Now, depending on our setup location, we've included two types of screws, expansion bolts for concrete or brick, and grass packs for soil and grassy areas. You'll also find the power cable and two cable ramps, a short one and a long one for different placement options. And here it is, the main 2024 Yardboard docking station. Nice and compact, right? Let's get this beauty installed. Before you start, make sure you've got at least 7 feet of clearance around the docking station and that your chosen spot has a strong signal. You can also test this using your itself, just follow the user manual for instructions. So for my setup, I'm on the grass, which means I'll be using the grass pack. This is the grass pack screwdriver hat, which you will find in the tools package inside the extra box. To use it, simply attach it to an electric drill. Once connected, installing the grass packs will be a breeze. You'll find the charging port right next to the display light. Press the button on the top to remove this little cover. Now, plug the power cable into the port and cover it with a short cable ramp here. The longer ramp can be placed wherever it makes the most sense for your setup. And that's it, all set up and ready to go. If you manually guiding Yarbo back to the docking station, just make sure the yellow line on Yarbo's back aligns with the station. But don't worry, if Yarbo's on an autonomous program, it'll adjust itself perfectly. There you go, when you see the green flashing lights, that means Yarbo's charging, and in just about one and a half hours, Yarbo will be fully charged and ready to go again. Thanks for watching, happy charging, and I'll catch you in the next video.